back to the channel. I hope you're all having a good week so far. <laughs> I was about to say I'm really excited about this video, but I know that I say that pretty much at the start of every video, so I'm not going to say it, but I am. <laughs> because I'm off to a Tropic Girls Night. Now, this was planned over 18 months ago, and obviously because of COVID, we weren't able to do it. But tonight is the night, so I'm literally getting my stuff sorted, ready to leave the house, because it's at the lady that signed me up's house, which is about an hour and a half drive from where I live. Um, but I'm all ready to go, hair's done, makeup's done. I did a, something a little bit different with my lip, a bit of a darker liner, and then nude blush lipstick. What do we think? I also wanted to talk to you about this jewellery that I've got that I'm absolutely loving. So it's by Ana Luisa NY, so it's a New York based brand. And they reached out to me and these pieces were kindly gifted and I feel like the luckiest girl ever because... So I chose a few pieces and then they sent me a couple of the ones that I picked out and these earrings I absolutely adore so this one's a little moon and then this is a little star and they've got like stones in the little huggy bit here and they're just really delicate and really pretty and then this necklace again is really dainty and really pretty it's a little sun so I've got a sun moon and stars and I absolutely love it I love the how delicate this chain is. It's not very long either, so I feel like you can wear it with anything, even something high neck like this. I feel like you can just see it over the top, which I think is really cute. And since I received them, over a week ago now, I have literally not taken them off. Obviously the necklace I have to go to sleep, um, but the earrings I have literally not taken off. I've worn them to the gym. I've worn them to walk Arnie. I am wearing them for our first girls night in ages. Um, and the brand is all about sustainable jewelry as well, which I love. And they currently have a summer sale. So you can get 20% off pieces that you like in their summer sale. I will of course leave all the links and everything and all the information that you need to know in the description box are down below, but I would definitely recommend going to check them out. To be honest, I hadn't heard of them before they reached out to me, but I will definitely be searching their website this summer because I love these pieces and I want more. <laughs> but I'm gonna get my bag in the car and I'm gonna head down to Helen's house like I said, she is the lady that signed me up to Tropic. She's an executive leader with Tropic. She's an amazing woman. And I'm really excited for this evening because we've, we're have we having a cocktail making evening. I'm hoping the sun is gonna stay out. The sun is out with me now near Reading. I'm hoping the sun is gonna stay out where she is, although I've heard it's a little bit wet. Anyway, I've got some food. I popped to Costco earlier, so we've got plenty of food. We've got cocktail making. Um, Helen's booked somebody to come in and help us make some cocktails. So it's going to be a really lovely fun evening and I've met Helen before obviously um, and I've met a couple of the other girls. However there's so many girls that I'm going to meet this evening that I've been speaking to for a little while but I've not actually met in person because we haven't been able to see each other obviously for the obvious reasons over the last year and a half and I am meeting one of the girls in my team who I haven't met, another Charlotte, so I'm excited to meet her and yeah it's just gonna be a really lovely evening. I'm a little bit nervous because they all sort of live in the same sort of area um, and probably kind of already know each other a little bit whereas I'm the new one from somewhere else coming in, but it'll be fine. They're all lovely girls, so I think after five minutes, the ice will be broken, a couple of cocktails will be drunk, and we'll be on our way to a good night. I'm also staying at Helen's, so I don't have to drive back tonight. So Arnie and Carl are gonna be here having a boys' night without me, aren't you? <laughs> um, and I'm having a night away with the girls. So let's hit the road and I'm going to take you along with me, see what we get up to and I'll introduce you to a couple of the girls as well. Sorry if you heard that, Carl is putting together some Ikea furniture upstairs and he's making a right racket. <laughs> he, he's so clumsy, he's a very handy man, which is lovely, 
but he doesn't do things quietly at all or tidily whether it's cooking putting stuff together but i'm not complaining because he does it so <laughs> i consider myself lucky right anyway let's hit the road and i will chat to you soon i've arrived this is helen hi you may recognize her from a past video we did that team one didn't we oh yeah we did yeah, yeah. yeah. and annie where's annie i'll take the selfie up. say hi annie <laughs> And the cocktail man, he was late, but we'll forgive him. <laughs> Cheers. So I need glass each. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. So we're going to use the small tin to build our cocktail in, and then we're going to shake it. These little bell looking things here, these are our measures that we use behind the bar. The small cup is, um, if you have a look inside, you see lines. Yeah. That's it. So those lines equal like a quarter of an ounce, half ounce, three quarter of an ounce, and the whole cup is one. On the other side, you've got a two ounce cup with a one and a half ounce line inside. Okay. So we're going to start off with vodka and we need one and a half ounces. So that's big cup, first line. So anyone start doing it? With? So we're what did you say we're making a martini? Oh, it's my favourite. So all the way up to the first line. Then we'll pour that into the small uh, small tin. Yeah. Not all the way to the top. Perfect. Now we've got some passion fruit puree. So we want small cup all the way to the top. I know, but we pour it in. So <laughs> A bit of lime juice, so this helps balance out the cocktail. So we want small cup second line. Mm. I know, it's great. I mean, this would be ideal. Yeah, so I did. It's quite hard if someone's got a smaller plate. Well, the thing is, living room or something. Yeah, people who do this tend to have big hands. <laughs> so, Don't do it in a house like ours. Yeah, that's <laughs> Okay, and now this is vanilla uh, simple syrup. This is uh, same measurement, so small cup, second line. Uh, this is super easy to make at home if you ever want to. It's quite easy. You need about 200 grams of sugar and 200 grams of boiling water, and you just mix it together, and you've got simple syrup, sugar, and then you can add any sort of flavouring you want to it: caramel, vanilla, toffee. And then you can also add that to your iced coffee if you have iced coffee in the morning. And, about that. and it's a darn sign cheaper than buying it pre-made. Just 200 grams of sugar and 200 grams of boiling water. Take it and put it in like vanilla recipe. Yeah, a little bit of vanilla recipe. Yeah, 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 take it. That's quite nice from here. Yeah. I'll put that in the cupboard. Yeah. And then, oh, if you keep it in the fridge, it'll probably last up to me. And final ingredient, we need some pineapple juice. So this is big cup all the way to the top. This pours quite fast. Okay. So yeah, so we've done passion fruit lime. Yep, we've done vodka, passion fruit puree, lime juice, and vanilla simple syrup. And then pineapple juice. So this is all the way to the top. Stop pouring. <laughs> Pop that in, in cup. the big cup. In the uh, yeah, oh. big tin. That's it. Okay, now we need to fill some ice. So, so this is the important part. When you pop the big tin onto the small tin, you want to make sure that there's one straight line and you give it a nice hard whack to seal it. Okay. Very straight to me. Yeah, so look, look, look. You get a one straight line there. Oh, right, okay. Give it a nice hard whack and that will seal the tin. One more. There you go. Nice. That's it, perfect. That's it, nice hard work. You know when you've done it right, is if you pick it up, it's not going to go anywhere. We're going 
go. Yeah, nice. Very good. <laughs> and then uh, when we come to shake it, what you're going to do is you're going to pick it up and point the small team towards you. Yeah. One hand on top, one hand on the bottom, and really shake it hard for 10 seconds. <laughs> You know when you're done, because yeah, you've got a nice bit of uh, conversation on the tin. Nice oh, yeah. Okay? Yeah. <laughs> Which way does it need to be now? Okay, so this is the next trick to open the tin. Because there's a vacuum inside there now because of all the cold air. We need to crack it, essentially. So you see where the tin blends into one. Yeah. What we're going to want to do, using the squishy part of your hands, you're going to palm the big tin just where it starts going in. Just going to give it one hard crack and you'll hear a pop. I feel like this is going to be the hardest bit. So, turn it a little bit. Right hey. Yeah! Hey. Yes. Hey. Hey. Perfect. Alright, just pop the small tin to the side. Now you want to grab your strainer. What's that one there? So that goes on top of the tin. The tin with the liquid. <laughs> <laughs> got it. No, no, no. And then, <laughs> right. we've got a fine strainer. So what you're going to do with the hand that's not holding on the tin, you're going to hold the fine strainer over the glass. And then with the tin, with one finger on top, to keep it in. You're going to pour the contents through the strainer into the glass. Yeah, that's it. Through the strainer, through the strainer. that catches all the like the little... Through the top. Yeah, that's perfect. So it's really uh, an indictment of how hard you shake it, is how much of that foam that you get. Because the pineapple aerates and give that right now. So it's foam good? Foam is good. Foam is good for texture, mouthfeel. You get like a really nice silkiness. So if you want to grab a passion fruit shell itch. Just the shell? Yeah, just the shell. Pop that on top. Where's the fruit? Which way? That way? Uh, oh, that way? Cup up. That's it. And with the Prosecco, just ah, pour a little bit of Prosecco inside the shell. Fancy. And then you can either shot it, just pick up the shell and drink it. Or you can <laughs> put it into the glass I like I did. <laughs> and there we are guys. And of course oh, you've got to taste your creation. Yes. See how you did. Oh I'm gonna I'm gonna pour it in. Yeah, yeah. Wow, so nice. Yeah. Amazing. My favourite It's my favourite as well. Yeah. Oh that's really good. Really good. Well done, Charlotte. Good yeah. job, guys. <laughs> Thank you very much. Let's cheers with our fancy cocktails that we made ourselves. Cheers. Cheers. Oh, you've kept yours in. Cheers. Cocktail number two. This one is so much stronger than the last one.
I am feeling a little bit worse for wear this morning. We didn't get to bed until two o'clock in the morning. I cannot remember the last time I stayed up that late or drank that much. I literally don't think I've had a drink like that in probably like two years. I'm not even joking. We had three cocktails each that we made. It was brilliant. The company were amazing. The guy that came and did it, Will, he was so good and absolutely loved it. Helen's house was beautiful and is literally just made for a party. She's had her house renovated and it is stunning. Um, yeah, I'll link the company in the description box below um, because it's a, like, his own business. So yeah, it's nice to support a new upcoming business as well. And um, yeah, I just had the best time meeting some of the team, some of Helen's team, Charlotte, she's in my team. It was so nice to meet her after being like team buddies for so long. Um, I just had the best time. So this headache that I have this morning is 100% worth it. Um, and Helen having us all at hers was just so lovely. And it's I've met Helen a couple of times because obviously she signed me up as an ambassador. Um, but it's always nice to see her. I haven't seen her for so long. Um, her house looks amazing. And I will also link Helen. Helen has her own YouTube channel. She's just started it. Um, and obviously she is Mrs. Tropic herself. Um, and she, I've learned so much from her. So go give her a follow. I'll link it in the description box down below. Um, but yeah, go and give her some love as well and yeah i'm gonna drive home now i've got my water i've it is like quarter past 11 so i have just been chilling out with helen this morning just sort of we've had some food had some breakfast some water um before i drive home so i feel better now um so i'm gonna drive home and probably plonk myself on the sofa for the rest of the day. I hope that Carl doesn't have any big plans for the rest of the day. Um, because I intend to just get back and nap. <laughs> but anyway, it is hot in this car. So I'm gonna make my way home and I will chat to you in a bit. <laughs> Hello. Ow. Oh, you just trampled my toe on. Hello. Hello. Aw, you're up the dead, Carl. Making me my favourite soup, pea and spinach. Try and get some goodness back into yep. me. <laughs> and my favourite rolls. These like tiger rolls from Aldi are my absolute favourite rolls ever. Mmm. I'm looking so, forward to this and so is Pooch. <laughs> Pea and spinach soup and athletics before I nap on the sofa for the rest of the afternoon. apologize for the state of me yesterday because I felt like death I haven't had a hangover like that in I don't know how long at least 18 months because I haven't had cocktails and Prosecco and that much fun in 18 months yeah it's really motivated me and inspired me um, with all things business and tropic going forward if I wasn't 
motivated and inspired enough already with obviously just going self-employed um, and I'm already all of us are already looking forward to and thinking about when we're gonna get together next I am feeling more like myself today which is great <laughs> Although still not 100% myself, I must admit I am feeling like I have a two day hangover. Um, but I had a really chill day yesterday, obviously like you saw, I didn't really do much, which is why I didn't really feel much. Um, I got home about lunchtime, obviously Carl, the angel that he is, made me soup and I just laid on the sofa, fell asleep for about two hours Woke up, we took Arnie out on the field to run him around a little bit and then I came back, Carl ran me a bath and then we had a Domino's and watched Love Island and I went to bed. So that's pretty much what I did yesterday. I barely moved and it was, it was lovely. It was nice not to have to do anything. Um, also, whilst I was away at Helen's for the Tropic Party, so me and Carl went to Ikea on Friday once Carl had finished work because I wanted another unit for my office so that's where I am, it's like the spare room slash office which you've seen on here before, I'll link the video down below if you haven't seen the whole office um, but where I showed you updates on it but I now have a lovely new unit I'll stand over here so you can see it but yeah, just from Ikea I'm going to be getting rid of these Ooh, bedside tables I think um, they used to be my old bedside tables when I was in the block on camp and obviously when I was in my flat that my cousin kindly gave me um, but don't really have need for them anymore so we will be getting rid of them but yeah what do you think of my new unit it's got a couple of drawers so I've got some tropic products some spares that I've got in there um, and then I've just dressed it I'll show you so this is how I've dressed it at the moment. What do we think? So uh, we bought a printer a little while ago as well, a couple of weeks ago. So that's on there. I've got the Little Heroes collection. I've got my Tropic folder to keep documents all organized. I've got some Glow magazines. Another, I've got two of these, another Tropic basket. The mama collection and then just in the drawers i've got some spares and then what have i got in the bottom one? Oh, it's just like a little tiny ring like that i've got um so yeah it's just made the office a little bit tidier i also got this i've probably had this about a year that tropic sent me it's just a little it's not going to focus on it but it says tropic memories and then a little clip oops and a little clip to hold a photo and because we haven't had any get-togethers I haven't got a photo to go in there but I obviously have some photos from Saturday night so I'm gonna get one of them printed off this week and get that in there but yeah I hope you enjoyed this video a little bit of a another side to um, the tropic business um, the really fun stuff when we get together which we can do again now I'm so excited and I've said it already but it's just put a fire in my belly for organising something at my house, although our house isn't as perfect for parties as Helen's. I mean, her kitchen area is just made for entertaining and having parties, but doesn't matter. Gonna have a think and do one anyway, um, because it'll be so nice, because my team are sort of dotted all over the country, because obviously how I do it is mostly online. So people are going to have to travel a bit further, obviously I was the only one that really had to travel any distance to Helen's, which absolutely I don't mind because she's only an hour and a half away and that's not really that far for me because I'm used to doing long journeys to see family and friends anyway. Um, so yeah, I'm hoping to organise something at mine for my team, um, but yeah, it's just really exciting. and just makes me even more happy and confident and excited that I took the plunge and decided to pursue this full time. And that I even decided to become a Tropic Ambassador in the first place those two and a half years ago, because when I did join, I never for a second thought that this small Tropic business that I'd started back in 2018, 29, start of 2019, would become something that I was so passionate about, loved so much, 
not for a second did I think that it would open the doors that it has and that I would meet the people that I've met and be just all in, all consumed by by this amazing brand, these amazing women and oh, the best thing I ever did, 100% and yeah if you are thinking about anything whether it's becoming a tropic ambassador whether it's starting a different sort of business whether it's just i don't know a course that you're thinking of doing a job change anything if you have been thinking about it for a while and you've been umming and ahhing for a while i would just say obviously everybody's situation is different but just go for it if you're thinking what if, what if it's on your mind quite a lot, then just take the plunge and give it your all and I'm sure you won't regret it because so far this is proving to be one of the best things that I've done in my life and yeah if you have any questions about becoming a tropic ambassador obviously drop me a message or drop your tropic ambassador if that's not me then drop them a message and ask for a little bit of information about it because it can literally be whatever you want it to be if you love the product already you use them already even if you just wanted to use it for yourself you get money off your own products if you sh if you talk about them with your friends and family anyway that's what I was doing, it was a no-brainer for me. And then it can progress if you want it to, or it can just be a little side hustle if you want it to. Thank you very much for watching, I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget as well, if you like the look of um, the jewellery that I spoke about at the beginning from Ana Luisa, I literally got a few compliments on Saturday night as well for my earrings. Um, a few of the ladies really loved them. Um, so I do have a link that will take you directly to their website in the description box down below. And they are they have a 20% off sale at the moment for summer. So go and check them out. They're beautiful. Literally haven't taken them off. Um, but yeah, give it a thumbs up if you like this video. Obviously subscribe if you haven't already because I bring two videos a week now, Wednesdays and Sundays, and I would love to see you back here for more. Hope you have a good rest of your week and I will see you in the next video. Bye.